Welcome to Magna Rail Moves Lego number two and it's all about action on the water. As in my previous videos it's just explained that I use the multi-use foam board, the insulation board for all my layouts now. Because it's easily routed out um, I remove all the side screw holes etc off the um, Magna Rail channeling and then I router it to fit exactly the width of the channel and also the depth. This gives me a very smooth surface that I can then lay my road bed, or in this case my water bed, uh, on top of the board. The routering gives me the ability to curve uh, my chain and have it secure uh, as it goes around. So you've got to do the same depth right through, uh, covering the return loops uh, as well as um, the motor housing. The motor housing does require uh, a change of depth uh, because the motors are a bit deeper than the normal channeling. Plus they've got to have a hole drilled through to be able to take the motor which hangs down underneath uh, the board. So you've always got to allow for that uh, under your board. The original plan was to have the four layouts uh, of which we've already shown you number three which is the off-road bikes and we've got the other two coming up. I used a Lego plate and photocopied it and then changed the colour in uh, my Affinity drawing program. And I won't go over how I make the, the actual baseboard because you can see on um, previous videos how I laminate this to get it going. What I've done now because it's a water scene I've added sand and this sand is just stuff uh, that I bought through Bunnings for their playground sand and it is perfect. Uh, it is very very fine and it can be used I would say from end gauge upwards. Um, it just spreads beautifully and it flows freely. So what I do, I put the PVA glue down where I want it, cover the sand and then I use an eyedropper, well, it's not an eyedropper, I think I used it for a medicine thing that I got um, with a, a mixture of watered down of PVA glue just with a little dash of uh, dishwashing liquid just so it can break through the, the surface on the sand. Still, yeah, you have to be careful, but you're looking for saturation here. So I put quite a lot on the um, waterbed. Uh, the laminate is a matte finish, so it does stick fairly well uh, with the glue, and uh, you'll find that it, it does uh, last quite a while. You can get bits chipping off, but it's just a matter of vacuuming that up later on. You really need to let this dry thoroughly uh, and it just becomes like a hard crust um, after it's done and uh, yeah, try to not touch it uh, during the drying period. So there you have it. I put the blue tape uh, on the waterbed purely so I knew where the track was underneath so I didn't cover it uh, with any of the sand. I then later on you'll see um, I've put some plants and some palm trees uh, into it and just sort of did a bit of a hole and uh, then uh, glued it back in. So it's all fairly rigid. The baseboard with a little place on the middle uh, is secured through screws. With the crocodiles and sharks, the crocodiles, I use these what are known as um, plate rounds. Uh, we're sort of like little buttons but for the crocodiles to get them going around the magna rail system it's just a matter of dropping a magnet in which I can supply. Uh, these are 3.74 and the holes that are underneath um, your uh, crocodiles take these perfectly. What I do is put a mark on the top once I get the polarity right. 
So the polarity is where the red mark is, where the brown mark on that magnet. You don't want to see it when it goes in. That means the polarity will be right. So it will pull down onto the magnets within the track on the magnetrail system. And you just click the button on, as you can see through here, uh, the shiny bit. So obviously the, the mark with the brown on it is underneath. Now these aren't glued or anything. Uh, just click the button on and they're fairly free moving within that, uh, which saves a lot. But as you can see, the magnetic power still goes through the plastic. One of the things I did find was because the crocodile's tail tends to drag a bit, it can lift off uh, if you go over a rough surface. So it was just a matter of adding another button um, and that gets the tail off the uh, off the surface. So there we have him chasing a boat with his jaws open. Uh, kids love seeing it. It looks really great going around. The next one was the shark. Uh, he's a little bit different. Um, once again, another magnet. This is a 5mm by 1.4, roughly say deep. But the 5mm fits perfectly in the gap. And then I cover it with some of our flock velvet. And then you have the shark going around. Once again, it's just another thing. The shark's fins do hit some of the um, the sandbars, but it just makes him look as though he's alive. So I don't have any problem with that. Now with the boats, this is a very old uh, boat, but the same principle, but I've used the five mil uh, on these ones and the two buttons uh, to keep it moving along. But I've also used some of the felt because it stops the rocking of the boat because it's only on a round surface that you're dealing with. So putting the bit of the, the velvet flock on it um, just tends to give it a, a flatter surface uh, to move along. Um, but you can't notice it once it's operational, but it's just a small thing that just keeps everything running smoothly. And we have our spacemen who were able to do the same as the shark and were able to just put that through. Um, the little speedboat, once again, this is a very old uh, Lego one. It must be, I don't know, 30, 30 to 40 years old, this, this model. Um, but we've done the same thing with the, the two buttons and uh, a bit of velvet on velvet over it and she runs beautifully as well. The spacecraft, now you see the 5mm button uh, magnets have gone into there and exactly the same process, squeeze that in and then we put the, um, the covering over it to try and reduce the friction but also so they don't leave a mark uh, on the surface. Um, if it does scratch or, or move a bit of metho, you can run over this surface uh, and it'll clean it away. Um, I thought this was just a cool thing to have. It could be a, you know, uh, a little added thing. But if you've got a space patrol system, well, of course, you'd be able to have a, a grey baseboard or a, a red baseboard or whatever you want to make your, your planet baseboard out of or what colour. Same principle, just laminating uh, the board and getting it going. But uh, this is just basically to show you uh, how you can get this one moving to. So there you have it, the water system in action. I'd love to hear your comments. Um, so add a comment down below if you think you, you've got old Lego you want to have a go with. So this is part one and part two, you can see the four-wheel drive stuff going around and then our boats. So happy Legoing and hopefully we'll see a great team of Lego models coming on stream using the Magna Rail system. Catch you around 
and remember to comment and also to subscribe.